So yeah, now I remember what um, that dude said. Uh, or about the arc. That the real arc was more of a circular object. So you have the circular object, which is more like the arc. And what I never got to, which I'm famous for doing or infamous for not doing, was Antarctica. You'll find all kinds of bugs on the wild carrot for some reason. I mean, you'll find kind of all kinds of bugs everywhere, but this time of year, if you walk around, you'll see all kinds of bugs climbing all over the wild carrot, including the firefly. It was just another way that this subtle, this subtle code has been built into the language, and it's not linear. It's a it's a pictorial linguistic code. It's not linear, and it has to be proven. In, in a little bit of a peculiar way. Just like looking at a piece of art. When we look at a piece of art, our mind is triggered in different ways. But when we're speaking of a non-linear linguistic code, we're tying together both sides of the brain much like we do when we do, because that's the thing about sacred geometry and music, specifically, and art, objects, once we learn the language of art history, we're tying together the left and right hemisphere. You know. But yeah, so Antarctica. When you have ants on an ark, Never mind the Arctic and the Antarctic. The cold and the cold. The cold with the ant and the cold without the ant. In the case of the wild carrot, it's the root, which would be the Arctic, and it's the flower, which would be the Antarctic. Because we see ants climbing on the flower, but we don't see them climbing on the root. But then if you flip it, where do they build their, where, where do ants build their structures? Underground. And they have those pieces of art where people pour, you know, molten epoxies, molten metals into an ant colony and it makes this root-like structure underground. So the ants live among the roots, but they don't live among the flowers, you know? which has to do with the whole Dorothy slash Harriet Tubman deal. The red cap and the blue dress versus the red shoes and the blue dress. Dorothy, nickname, Dot, and a dot is the symbol for a point. It's the symbol for a period. What's a period? When an adolescent girl dots. Sorry to be 
you know, an old man talking about that shit. But symbolism has always been built that way. He grabbed his thigh in the Bible. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. Thigh being a use, euphemism or whatever for the gonads. People didn't shake hands. They grabbed their fucking nuts to make sure you weren't a eunuch. To make sure you weren't a hermaphrodite. And then we wonder about Leonardo or Raphael. Was Leonardo Mona Lisa? Was Leonardo even a dude? Was he a woman? Was he a bearded woman? Was he a eunuch? Uni, C, light, one light. But yeah, the period. Why is the period? The period is the dot. The period is the point, and the period is red. And the red dot on the white flower is a symbol that has been built through the ages for thousands of years. I'm going to drive that point home. Because there's a moral to the story. And we have to get there. And we can get there now. We can. Changes are coming and they will be dramatic. They will be drastic. Unfortunately, many will perish, as many are perishing now due to coronavirus. Still, not as many who perish from starvation every day. Not even close. The coronavirus is, believe it or not, a benevolent force of the butterfly effect. If we do not heed the warning of the benevolent force of the butterfly effect that is blooming now, if we think this is drastic, if we think the upheaval we see in the streets now is drastic, if we think that the corona pandemic, if we think the manifestations of the outrage over George Floyd, if we think that is drastic, there is, there's no movie, there's no apocalyptic story that could begin to touch what's coming if we don't do the right thing now. And when I say now, I mean somewhere between tomorrow and the next hundred years. But we have to stop. We have to stop butchering vertebrates and putting their flesh in our mouths and guts. Quantum entanglement. The way shit plays off each other, the way shit bounces off each other. If we do the right thing, there will still be upheaval. Upheaval's coming. Up evil or up evil. The only thing differentiating them phonetically is a <laughs> I know I get mad a lot, jerk a lot.
just trying to find that sweet, subtle place in myself. I'm trying to nurture that sweet, subtle thing in myself. I'm trying to pass it on, man. And even when I'm mad, that's all I'm really trying to do. But for some reason, little old me has been given a message, and I only know that because... I see, I hear, I feel, I've been given, I've been, not just given, <laughs> it's, I mean, I've, it's been shoved on me, this truth, you know, and I just don't hear it spoken, it's alluded to, it's symbolized, but the plain speech of this truth has not been spoken plainly, so I guess it's my job to say it, and that's what I'm doing, and perfectly as I do. Anyway, I'm out of time. Y'all come back now, you hear?